Raven flew low along the shoreline. A storm cast its veil over the sun, leaving a darkness so deep she could fly almost invisible against the sky. And that is how Raven felt, invisible and alone. She tilted into the trees, fluttering quickly through the rain, dashing between silhouettes of bare branches and shadowy evergreens. The sound of them creaking in the wind made her feel even more lonely. Raven pushed to the top of an old tamarack and perched there, swaying in the wind. Rain pelted her face and stung her eyes. She blinked and shook the droplets from her feathers. The forest stretched cold and sorrowing before her. Perhaps if I sing to the sun, she will warn me with her light, Raven whispered. She sang out in her clearest voice, but the song bent thin and wavering into the storm. Even so, The sun glowed at her from between two clouds, flickering like a soft beacon through the rain. Then the clouds closed again, leaving Raven shivering in their shadow. Squinting against the storm, she lifted her eyes. If the sun cannot reach me, perhaps I can fly to her, Raven said. She raised her wings, testing their strength against the wind. I wonder how long I would have to fly to get there. Surely it isn't so far. Whenever the sun smiles at me, I feel that I can almost touch her warmth with the tip of my wings. Raven leaned forward and leapt from the tree, flapping wildly in the wind, circling up and up, free now, soaring. Suddenly, A gust of wind whipped Raven back and forth in the sky, blowing the rain so hard it crept beneath her feathers, soaking her to the skin and making her wings feel heavy and cold. She laboured to move them, circling skyward. Below her, the forest spread like a meadow of wet grass over shallow valleys and rolling hills, and the lake lay like a tiny sapphire island in a sea of watery green. The clouds, which had always felt so close to her home in the forest, seemed always out of reach, no matter how hard she flew. Still she flew higher, drinking in the sky with each breath, her wings heavy with rain, her heart weightless with hope. It was both lovely and lonely, high in the storm-drenched sky, and the sight of it made her eyes brim with tears. Or was it the cold that made her cry? She blinked to clear her eyes. Her tears turned to ice and tumbled down her face. The rain had turned to ice too, Raven's face ached, her wings thrummed with pain, and the frigid air burned her throat and every staggered breath. She knew the sun was up there, somewhere above the storm. Raven tried to call out to the sun, but she could no longer sing. Her voice was frozen. She faltered in her flight, trembling doubting her strength. At that moment, the sun glimmered from behind the clouds, lifting her spirits, inviting her to fly even higher. The moment she decided to push once more against the sky with her wary wings, the storm gave way to stillness. It was all mist and light and music, cloud music, Raven had flown so high, she was inside the clouds. She closed her eyes and listened. The music was so beautiful, she nearly forgot to fly. 
From her home in the forest, Raven had often felt music in the distant, muted shapes of the clouds. Now here it was, all around her, coming from high and low, from this side and that. She could both hear and feel the notes that made the music. Deep, rumbling tones that vibrated in the air-filled bones beneath her breast. And higher, melodic voices like whispering trees, which entered her very heart. Raven flew quietly through the clouds, listening for the peace that lingered in the spaces between the notes. There was music, then silence, and then a gentle lift in her spirit each time the music began anew. Raven tried to sing out with joy, but her voice was still too frozen to sing. She began to see shapes moving through the mist. First, an immense white bear climbed the silken edges of a cloud mountain. And then, a feather wing peeked at her through a window of blue sky. There were images from the sleep time stories her mother had told Raven when she was only a hatchling, and she was delighted at the sight of them, for she had always believed they were real. As Raven flew even higher, she began to feel a presence in the space between the clouds. She was astonished to find that the blue stillness, which she had perceived to be a patch of empty sky, was moving and alive, infused with the same peace she felt in the silence between the notes of music that surrounded her. The shape moved in the form of an enormous swan, with light-filled wings and a blue swirling tail fin which pushed it gently through the mist. Though Raven could see through it, like an ever-changing window between the clouds, it felt more real than any solid form she had ever seen. Raven winced with pain, as an ebony feather, brittle with the cold, broke from her wing and twirled downward out of sight. I did not know it would be so cold, she thought. Her body was nearly frozen. Her tail feathers were so stiff, she could scarcely control the direction of her flight. The sun glimmered dimly from above. If I can just fly a little higher, surely the sun's light will warm me. Raven lifted her frozen wings once more and emerged through the tops of the clouds. She blinked against the brightness of the sun. The storm, so grey and forbidding beneath, was an endless blanket of white from above, like new snow on a wintry plain. Above the white, the sea of sky stretched on forever. It was all too beautiful. Raven could scarcely breathe. The frost on her feathers glowed in the light of the sun. She closed her eyes, waiting to be warm. But the sun could not warm Raven's body, or ease the stiffness in her wings, for the air was even colder here above the clouds. Another feather broke away, spinning slowly into the storm below. As Raven watched it fall, her thoughts became as still and clear as the sky that surrounded her. She knew her strength was nearly spent, her wings and body failing in the cold. She would not have the strength to fly all the way down to her nest in the forest. Blue stillness moved slowly across the field of white, making an ever-changing space between the clouds there was peace in its silent flight. Raven could feel it watching her. There would be no turning back. Raven would fly higher then, for as long as she could. 
For all her suffering, she felt that having been born with wings that could carry her here, and a heart that longed for the magic that dwelled in the sea of sky, she belonged to this place. The sun dipped behind the storm's edge. Raven watched the rising of Mother Moon and beyond the stars. The storm had nearly emptied its rain, and as the clouds below her thinned, Raven breathed in the sight of the vast, lovely world beneath her. Whatever happened, she knew that her heart was changed forever. She had seen the magic above the storm, and having seen, she would never unsee. Mother Moon smiled at Raven sorrowfully. Raven began to fall. As her sight dimmed, the space between the clouds moved toward her. It wrapped her in its wings, falling with her, filling her heart space and every hollow in her bones with a warmth that felt like love. Raven awoke to the sound of bluebirds singing. Cloud music thrummed softly down from the sky. She felt the warmth of dappled sun on her face and heard the song of ancient trees moving gently above her. As Raven shook the sleep from her body, there was a memory of blue, a dream of falling. And within the dream, a whispering inside her heart. Do not sorrow, love. I am here. The sky's blue reflection drifted across the lake and rose like a swan through the morning mist. It paused hovering protectively over Raven's nest. Then it moved, softly, silently, into the clouds. Oh. Mm-hmm.